Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 2 of Dire News. How's it going, everybody? I am happy to announce the release of the Direwolf20 version 1.5 mod pack on the FTB launcher. That's right, it's finally available for you guys to download and play with. Currently, it's called a beta pack. It's pretty stable, but I need to give you a little disclaimer. It is officially a beta pack so if you download this mod pack and you build like a super awesome world and then something has to change because of id conflicts or something minor you know that's a potential possibility um but so you know it's pretty darn stable though so i wouldn't worry too much about it so i'm giving you guys the code to download the direwolf 20 pack in the ftb launcher for version 1.5 it's real simple you just click on private packs and then you type in the code direwolf 20 underscore one underscore five just like this underscore one underscore five and you'll see this in a moment i'll show it to you in the pack itself on the on the launcher uh, but it's really pretty cool why don't i show you guys how to download the pack now and then we'll come back and i'll talk to you guys about the mods that are installed and all that good stuff all right guys so this is actually pretty simple go ahead and launch the ftb launcher you might get prompted to update to version 1.2.6 go ahead and click yes on that and let the launcher update itself now once you've got the launcher open because this is a um, beta pack it's in testing mode right now i want to make sure you guys have access to it like i said but um, you have to click on private packs to get access to it and it's really simple click on private packs and then type in the secret code that gives you access to the direwolf 20 1.5 pack it's simply direwolf20 underscore one underscore five. Not so secret anymore. Click add. Ta-da! And you'll see that at the very bottom of your list, the direwolf20 1.5 pack shows up. Cool. Go ahead and hit launch, and that's all you need to do. You'll see that it's going to go ahead and uh, launch the game for you, download the pack, and do all that cool stuff. All right, so we've got a pretty awesome pack for you guys. What mods do we have in this pack? Uh, first off, I'll mention that we do have a different map than we have had in the past. In the past, we've used a Ray's mini map. Uh, this time, we're using the Voxel map. So uh, the Voxel map is available for you. It's a pretty awesome map pack, and I'll probably do a mod spotlight on it because I don't think I've done one yet for you. Uh, but for now, why don't I tell you about all the other mods? We've got additional Buildcraft objects, which is uh, you know the add-on for Buildcraft, Applied Energistics, Bibliocraft. We've got Bibliocraft Woods for Biomes of Plenty and Forestry. What these two add-ons do for Bibliocraft is allow you to use the Biomes of Plenty and the Forestry Woods to make some of the Bibliocraft items. So you can make some really nice looking furniture and stuff using the Bibliocraft stuff. Um, we've got Binny's Mods, which is extra trees and extra bees. We've got Biomes of Plenty. Now by default, Biomes of Plenty is disabled in the FTB pack. So what you're going to do is uh, click Edit Mod and enable it. So if you want Biomes of Plenty, just enable it and you're good to go. Um, I'll show you that in a separate clip here in a moment. But if you don't want uh, Biomes of Plenty, it's disabled by default. Cool. We've got build craft. We've got charge pads. We've got chicken chunks. Uh, we've got compact solars, computer craft, ender storage, equivalent exchange, uh, extra utilities, which is a mod spotlight I just recently did factorization forestry gravity gun and we've got the hats mod by itunes so you can go ahead and uh, bring up the hats interface um, i'll show you that here in just a moment so there you go uh, by default the v key v as in victor is going to open up the hats um, interface for you so you can go ahead and check out all the different hats that are available um, by default it's on the setting of hats where you have to kill enemies that are wearing hats to be able to attain them We've also got the uh, Industrial Craft 2 mod, of course, Inventory Tweaks, Iron Chests, Magic Bees, uh, the MFFS. We've got both versions of MFFS. We've got Calclavia's version, and we've also got the MFFS uh, mon uh, modular force field that uh, was made by Manalian. So both versions of MFFS are available for you guys. We've got Mine Factory Reloaded, Misc Peripherals from Richard G, Modular Power Suits, which you can see me wearing one. Uh, we've got Mistcraft, Natura, NEI, add-ons and plugins we've got obsidian plates and omni tools open cc sensors and plugins for forestry i haven't really done a spotlight on plugins for forestry yet but look for one of those in the future and the same for open cc sensors i have to get a spotlight for both of those going for you guys but they are pretty awesome mods i've played with them a little bit and i decide i want to get them in the pack and then i'll do a spotlight in the future um Finally, rounding out the pack, we've got Portal Gun, we've got Railcraft, Soul Shards, Steve's Carts, Tinker's Construct, Thaumcraft, and Thaumic Tinker, another mod which I haven't done a spotlight for you guys yet, but it's an add-on for Thaumcraft that adds a bunch of different cool and neat stuff. And then we've got Thermal Expansion, Translocators, Twilight Forest, and like I said earlier, Voxel Map. 
All right, how about I show you guys real quick how to uh, enable Biomes of Plenty if you want that enabled, and then we'll be right back. Alright guys, just like I mentioned, there is uh, the Biomes of Plenty mod installed here, but by default it's disabled in the pack. Um, so remember, Biomes of Plenty adds a ton of biomes. You can go into the config settings and change which biomes you want turned on, which ones you want turned off. If you want to enable it, uh, which I recommend because it's a pretty awesome mod, just click Edit Mod Pack and you'll see Biomes of Plenty in the Disabled Mods list, and you'll see all the other mods in the Enabled list. Okay, Click on the Biomes of Plenty in Disabled and click Enable. That's all you got to do. And then Biomes of Plenty is enabled. Ta-da! Cool. So that about wraps up for this episode of Dire News, guys. Uh, these will probably usually be pretty short episodes where I just kind of give you uh, some updates on what's going on, all the cool stuff. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, you might have noticed that I gave you a little bit of an early release of the pack. So hopefully you follow me on Twitter. Hooray! Um, definitely do so if you can because uh, I'll usually give out little you know pieces of information ahead of time. So uh, Twitter followers did get the Direwolf 20 pack code a little bit early and uh, with regards to season 6 which I know a lot of people probably have on their mind I will not be using um, 1.5 in season 6. I'm actually going to wait for 1.6. Um, I don't know uh, how long it's going to take for the mods to get updated but I don't think it's going to be that long so I think it's probably worthwhile to go ahead and just wait for 1.6 before I start season 6 uh, which was the spoiler little you know hint at the end of season 5 where I showed you guys horses. That was obviously an indication that 1.6 would be when season 6 starts. Um, with the 1.5 pack, it pretty much mirrors exactly the mods that I'm using on Forgecraft, plus one or two other ones that I happen to like. So if you guys have been following along the Forgecraft series, my multiplayer series, uh, Season 5, you should uh, you know, definitely consider the fact that you can follow along using the 1.6 uh, or the 1.5 Direwolf 20 pack, because pretty much uh, every mod that's on Forgecraft is in the pack, like I said, plus some. So for now, this is Direwolf20 signing off on Dire News Episode 2. Hope you guys enjoyed checking it out, and I do hope you enjoy the uh, Direwolf20 1.5 pack. There is a link in the video description for bug reports, so if you do find any bugs with this, uh, go ahead and just follow the link and post your bug reports on the forums. And then finally, if you don't want to use the private pack and you want to wait for it to become totally officially released, just wait about a week or so, and I think it'll probably be released unless there's any major problems. Which, again, like I said, I doubt. Alright guys, Direwolf20 signing off. Take it easy!